besides the official talks, I had the opportunity to go to rural Damascus, which is actually still uh, Damascus uh, city is a city environment, a highly populated environment. We see a lot of people injured. Uh, we see health points and hospitals uh, with insufficient uh, medicine, uh, with uh, uh, little staff to attend uh, a lot of patients. You see uh, a lot of shelling having gone on, uh, apartment buildings uh, destroyed or burned. Uh, you see uh, children which are under shock still from uh, the violence going on. Uh, all consequences of an armed conflict unfold in front of you. The meeting with President Assad was uh, very factual and to the point and uh, was focused on humanitarian issues. He appreciates the work ICRC is doing. Uh, he appreciates the work and cooperation we have with the Syrian Arab Red Crescent. And he was asking on uh, what he could contribute to make uh, our, import, uh, our work more important and, uh, and to scale it up. So I, I mentioned uh, the obstacles at the present moment to, to the work of ICRC, uh, the problem of bringing uh, medicine and medical equipment into the country, to distribute it all over the country and to those places which are most in need. And we discussed uh, issues of visiting prisons and uh, uh, of, protect, of the protection of the civilian populations, of in internally displaced people. What I hope will happen now, I left uh, Syria and the meeting with President Assad with uh, several commitments uh, to improve on uh, medical delivery, on access of the ICRC, on increasing the scope of our operations. And uh, I hope that uh, first signs and positive signs of, uh, of these commitments will uh, be uh, will materialize in the next few days, and I hope that within the next few weeks we can see improvement.